to solve for x, we're going to get it alone. And we can do that by removing everything that's been done to x in our reverse order of operations. So first, I'm going to subtract 7 on the left-hand side. And that's just going to leave me with a 3x on the left. But I also have to do that on the right-hand side to keep it balanced. So 3x is going to equal negative 18. Now to undo that multiplication of 3 times x, I can divide both sides by 3. So if I divide by 3 on the left-hand side, 3 over 3 is going to cancel. And that's going to leave me with just an x. And on the right-hand side, if I have negative 18 divided by 3, that's going to be negative 6. So I'm proposing that x equals negative 6 is the solution. I can check this by putting negative 6 into the original equation and see if it is, in fact, a solution. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. And if I do negative 18 plus 7, that means it's going to become less negative and it will in fact equal negative 11. So this does check out and I know that the value x equals negative 6 is a correct solution to my original equation. Thank you.